Greetings! Welcome to another edition of At The Pictures with this guy. Just a season. <laughs> and me, Jimmy De Palma and Wolfenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we've been watching. It's a boxing film. Big George Foreman, uh, we just saw it. It was brilliant. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The last boxing film I think before that we watched was Creed. Creed. That was not good. Wasn't he too good? Wasn't he too good? Didn't he hit all the right punches? Creed bought George Foreman does. Uh, what did you think it, Chaz? It's did good. you? Who did you like? Did you like young George, the angry, really kind of? He was just a wasn't it? Was a bad person, wasn't he? Uh, or the older fat George? Who did you like the best? I I don't I don't think he was really much of a bad person. I think it was, it was more driven. He was driven. Aye, he was. I, it I was think angry. he had that anger management issue. Aye, but he was a bad to a lot of folk. But uh, you'll probably folk will know George Foreman for the grill, which is I was hoping that that was going to be a major part of the film would be showing you know the ins and outs of the George Foreman grill and that because that was one of my my kind of favourite things to make toasties on and that. Uh, yeah. But. But, uh, no, I didn't concentrate on that. It was, more, the other thing that I thought it would be about would be about, I remember George Foreman for the rumble in the jumble, jungle, rumble in the jumble, <laughs> the runkle in the bumble. Hey, we, oh. Ali, when Ali, what did Ali do, Chaz? He did the... He kept taking punches and punches. The rope-a-dope, the rope-a-dope. And he uh, keeps on getting, uh, that's probably why Ali had a lot of issues. Aye. Oh, aye, because Ali, he gave Ali a good doing for a few rounds and then got too tired, couldn't he lift his arms? But that was the changing point in George Foreman's life, if you're according to this film, because he was a, he was a bit anger management issues, as you say, Chaz, punching holes through doors, uh, you know, uh, just an angry man, wanting to kill everybody in the ring. Uh, but the thing, mate, Ali was a bit of a bad baddie, you know, wasn't he in this? He was, like, taking the pan out of him and... Uh, you know, making a fool of him, saying he was like the mummy, shuffling about, he's not going to hit him because he's like the mummy, uh, no, a boxer. But, uh, aye, so, I, that was the changing point when Ali made a fool of him and, and where was it? Zaire? No. Uh, yeah, Zaire. Was it Zaire? So, I so they had a, the rumble in the jungle and then, can he, George, George found God? When he's, I think he's, like, he, when he's, his sister uh, had a wee bit of trouble when she was having her baby, and George prayed and that, and then God came into his life. Well, uh, you could tell he was getting older, and uh, every year he seemed to get a bit slower. Ah, yeah. Slower. They did it quite well, the, tra the transition for young George to old George. I think at one point they said uh, his boxing trainer, who was Forrest Whitaker, uh, said to him, uh, no, I said I used to look like uh, I used to look like Superman when I was young. He's frightened to take off his dressing gown to go into the ring. He says I used to look like Superman, and the guy goes, "Yeah, but now you look like the Michelin Man." <laughs> <laughs> but he should—he never lost his punch. Mind when he punched the bag, that was a good bit. He actually punched the bag off its hinges. He's punched holes through doors. Uh, he punched a hole in Sunny Liston. Uh, it was all, I mean it was well done all the boxing matches were well done uh, yeah. but and the story was good I liked how his family were nice in it yeah yeah what was your kind of favourite bit in it Chaz my most favourite bit's probably the bit where um, they kept on uh, did the moment they kept on trying to run they had to hide and yeah. what was that bit at the start, he uh, uh, mugged someone. Oh, he mugged the eye, had to hide an excrement to avoid get. He's had a hard life, old George, like. Uh, but, yeah, I, I thought it showed him in a, a wee bit. I didn't know some of the story. I knew that he'd, he, you know, I mean, he, came, he made a comeback later on in his life and when he was a, a, a chunkier man. Uh, but I didn't know all the ins and outs of what he went through. But uh, aye, so he was a nasty man, nasty young man, angry. And then as he got older, he was, uh, you know, he, he actually probably was a better fighter when they never had that the that anger in him. But uh, the film's great. I, I would say go and see the film. It is it's a true life Rocky. 
You know how Rocky was always coming back when he was 90 years old? Hey, no, I'm going to fail you, no. Uh, this, this is a true life comeback story. What was he, 45 years old? Yeah. And he was he was like a, a quite big. And the guy says, if you slim down, we'll, we'll talk and you can make your comeback. So there was a lot of these training things where he was like, lift, what was he lifting? A donkey or something? A goat, I think. A goat? <laughs> was it? It was a big bloody goat. He was lifting that, he was pulling trucks. Uh, but I know it was, uh, yeah, a good boxing for me, Chaz. Yes. Yeah? It's better so than That's us back, and I am giving this four out of five, because it's hard hitting, and uh, it's enjoyable, even though it's quite long. Uh, and if you didn't know much about George Foreman before, and you thought he was just rope-a-dope, uh, you know, Ali's victim, uh, then watch this film, and it will tell you for his side of the story. What about you, Chaz? Yeah, I, uh, I, would, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm probably going to give it a five. A five? A five out of five. So it's really hit the mark for Chaz. Uh, so that's nine out of ten for... Jo- what was it? Big George Foreman. Big George, Big George Foreman, the hard-hitting pugilist. The only thing to watch out for, like all one, uh, all films, it was really, lo- it was really long. Yeah. But the thing was, it isn't like it got born in the part, it was constantly active and different. Yeah. It's linear. It never went, at the start it showed you the bit, like, when he says, I died when I was 28, or something like that. Uh, but it's linear right the way through. It takes you in you know, uh, st- from his from his early life to his late life, and it doesn't go higgledy piggledy uh, like some films. So uh, I would say go and see it. Go and see it. Okay. Bye.